Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? You are on top of a very, very wobbly uh, tripod. <laughs> so I'm trying to be very, very careful. Very, 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 very careful with it. You know, I just remembered is that Dracula comes on at midnight tonight. I don't know why. I was thinking of Blackberry from Houston that's on the show. <laughs> that's what made me think of that when I said Barry. Very Barry. Anyway, um, how are you guys doing today? I'm having a pretty good day, except for that my back was feeling better. And I filmed a drama video sitting in my bed, like completely upright like this. And halfway through the video, my back started really, really hurting. And then by the time that it was done, like I stood up from the bed and I was like, ah. well, I had to like get a battery. I had to stop it because it was like too loud outside because they were like collecting leaves and stuff today. And so I had to go downstairs and get another battery and come back up. And when I stood up to get another battery, I was like, oh, my back was like, Ugh. so I didn't get quite as much done today that I wanted to get done. I'm actually going to light a candle first before I get into this because, um, I was gifted these Lake Erie candle candles, holiday gift sets. There's two that come in, each of them, and she sent me two of them. And last night, I lit this one right over here. I'm not going to show you guys, but because the camera will fall off the tripod. And the one that I lit last night, well, it says it on the back what they are, is Christmas at the Lake. And this one is called Tis the Season. And it smells very like nutmeg ish, nutmeg and cinnamon. So. I thought that I would like this one and have this on here. And Alex just got home. Oh, there he is right there. Hello. Hello. And um, I was, did he eat any more of the food? Mm -hmm. I was feeding Boo Radley downstairs because he's being real finicky with his food. So I was sitting next to his house and I was feeding him by hand and putting some of it on the ground. And then he started walking away and then Alex came home and he heard Alex come home. So he bolted up the stairs and I was getting stuff done, and so um, Alex was like, do you want me to go down and finish it? And I was like, yeah, that'd be great. So, um, so yeah, so um, I didn't get very much stuff done today because my back was kind of hurting, and so I was slower getting stuff done around um, in between my videos and stuff like that, but that's okay. Yesterday, I took the day off, and it was fan. Fantastic. It was fantastic. I feel like I need to turn this down just a little bit. Oh, the video is done. I was like waiting for this video to uh, get rendered so I can upload it. Would you like to do me a favor? I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> what is it? It's a favor for you. Could you... I, I, I found a few things online for Christmas. Could you kind of send me maybe screenshots of a few things that you might like and I can pick like one, maybe two out of those or whatever. Okay, is there, is there a limit? <laughs> yeah, not uh, $10,000. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you said not 10. Okay, listen. Okay, listen. Okay, listen. Okay, listen. Okay, listen. Are you still talking to me? I'm still talking to you as you carry your ASOS package upstairs. Hey, this is from you. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. So, really so anyway, um, just send me a few things, okay? Okay. Kind of like price spectrum all over the place. Oh, for my secret Santa for our dinner night. Don't say the name because I'm vlogging right now. But um, I have to tell you what I got her because I got her something really cool. Okay. I found it last night. I did all my Christmas shopping last night on online. Okay. So you know, I already got a few things. Santa already got a few things for you. So don't get too excited with your with your sending me a bunch of links. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, last night I. <clears throat> Well, yesterday, I, I do, I'm not trying to do all my shopping this year online. And so, for Alex's family, we all just like picked a name and there's like a limit on it so that everybody doesn't have to buy for everybody this year. So, which is nicer because the limit's kind of a little high. And so then like every person gets like something really nice. And, um, and the person that I pulled, well, there were two people that I had already bought something for. Um, but... One of them was the kids, so. <laughs> but then I pulled one of the people that we got, and so Alex just gave that person to me, and so um, I had already purchased something, but I hadn't, like, anywhere met my limit whatsoever, so I bought the other part of that gift last night, and then we are going to a couple's Christmas dinner, like, three couples that we hang out with, and um, 
Alex has really good friends with the two, the two girls, the two women, and has been forever. I talked about this on here a while ago. But anyway, and so it's the couples that we went to Florida with a couple years ago. And so, um, like, we're doing, like, a gift exchange, but, like, I get this person, this person gets me kind of thing, right? Like that. And I was like, I don't know, like, what to, like, I had a couple different ideas, but I was like, I don't know that she would really use this and whatever. And then I was looking at somebody's Instagram, and I was like, oh my God, this is like so perfect. Like they were showing it on Instagram. And so I was, I got that. And then I also got one for my cousin Caroline, went and did some shopping for Caroline last night, did some shopping for Alex. It's probably the first time in a while that I did some shopping and I didn't buy anything for myself. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, I did that last night. But anyway, um, I'll just tell you about today first. So I slept in today. I didn't even sleep until my alarm because Boo Radley woke me up. I'm putting this review video up. Because Boo Radley woke me up. And um, so I got up to take him out. And I was just like, I'm just going to stay up. So I got up quite a bit earlier than my alarm today. And then... Um, and then I um, took him outside, did my prayers, did my meditations, had some water washed my face, got all that stuff done, and, um, yeah, it was, like, a, a nice kind of, like, late morning, but I just kind of felt, like, so lazy today. I wasn't, like, really, this is just going to take me a second, you guys, so I won't be distracted for long because the other video is already uploading, so I just have to do this, get this real quick. So then I was, like, okay, I don't know what order to film these videos in, and so I, um, started filming the videos and I filmed my drama video first and then that one ended up being like an hour and four minutes and I didn't expect that at all so I was like um okay well you know what I kind of need to know the brand of this product where's the google I reviewed this black garlic I can't remember the name of it though. I'll know if I see it. Black olive garlic Amazon. That's where I got it. Oh, here it is. Hom Tian. Hom Tian black garlic. I did that review and then by then it was already late and Alex was on his way home so I was like okay well my video was so long so it was taking a long time to like render and get up and I'll like start uploading it my drama video and it's uploading right now and so that was when I did my review video and then when I got done with my review video I took Boo Radley out because there have been these guys like blowing the leaves and collecting the leaves and stuff all day today and so finally um they like were done and so I took him out because I they were in the front and the backyard so it didn't matter where I took him he was gonna like go crazy and as soon as I took him outside there was like a woman walking out she's so sweet and she's these huge dogs and she walks like each of them like twice around the neighborhood like twice a day and um he like went he'll only go like as far as like the like the middle of our yard and he just like goes goes up like this on his back two legs he's like oh and she was like laughing at him and then the other dog was just kind of like looking at him like he was crazy I was like Boo Radley they don't think you're scary they think you're they think you're funny <laughs> so I took him outside and then I fed him and then Alex came home and now we're here vlogging so yesterday was so nice and it was so relaxing and um I got up and we went to brunch and um I had I don't remember what the coffee was yesterday. Oh, it was Highlander Grog. So I just got the Patashu blend because I don't like the Highlander Grog. I think I got it to take home. It's like a look, it's really like strong. So I got that. And then but the first time I got the Patashu blend. And then I got the California Dreamer. 
no jalapenos, replace it with horseradish, and then I get Dijon mustard to dip the omelet in. And then I got everything bagel, toasted with melted butter and cream cheese. I like ate the whole thing, it was delicious. And then Alex got his tomato artichoke soup, bowl of that with crackers, and he got his Cuban, but he wasn't hungry for the Cuban, so he brought it home. I think he ate it last night. Did you eat your Cuban last night? Yeah. Yeah, he warmed it up and ate it last night. And then we came home, and um, so Tanya's been in Florida for the last week. She and her husband went to Florida, like Fort Myers area, for a week. So she got home yesterday, so she and I talked on the phone for quite a bit. Missed her so much. We talked like every night since she was gone. She would call me like every night at like 10 o'clock, but um, I missed her so much. And she was like, she was having such a good time, but she's like, I'm kind of like ready to get back to my dogs and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, when you own, you know, like a dog kennel, usually she has, um, like her son or somebody like stay at her house and whatever, but so that the dogs like get to be outside all day and stuff like that. She's been like keeping her dogs in the office at her house and stuff like that. Um, the last two times that she's gone out. So, um, I think actually think her son was out of town and that's why she didn't have him stay at the house to watch the dogs this time. So she went and picked up her dogs. She was so excited. And so we were talking about reality TV and movies and all this kind of stuff. And then Alex was upstairs and he was like looking at TikToks and playing this game and stuff. So I was like, this was at like five o'clock. And I was like, I am going to lay down and take a nap because <clears throat> unless I take Sundays off and I don't film any videos, I rarely ever take a nap. And he'll like nap for a little bit, play a game, you know, play his game, look at TikToks, watch a TV show, lay down. And so I'm like always jealous of that. I'm like, I wanna lay down and take a nap on a Sunday. So I went upstairs when it was like five, 5.15, something like that. And I really wanted to see that movie with Julia Roberts and Ethan Hawke called Leave the World Behind on Netflix. And so I had mentioned that to him and I said, do you want to watch that movie later? And he was like, unless you sleep all night long. And I go, me sleep all night long. And um, so when I laid down, he was like, I was like cuddling up next to Boo and talking to him. He was like playing his game and stuff. And then he like plugged in his phone. And I go, are you laying down? And he was like out like that. He was like, uh-huh. He was like asleep like that. I was like, oh my God, you're so you're asleep so quick. So anyway, I got up before him. Let that be noted, by the way. And I can't remember what time we slept till. Like 7.30 or something like that. But we got up. And um, so the night before when we had gone to the party, they had like some snack food and stuff like that there at the party, but they didn't have like food food. And so when it was getting close to when we were gonna leave, I was like, um, I texted Alex because he was like right across from me. Like, and I was like, I'm ordering, I'm gonna order some Pizza Hut. Do you want something from Pizza Hut? Because I was kind of like craving the cheese from Pizza Hut that you like dip the breadsticks in, which they didn't have when I ordered it. So then I was kind of like, uh. But I thought they had this plant-based sausage, which they didn't have when I went to go order it, which was one of the reasons why I ordered it. But I was like, you know what? I haven't had Pizza Hut in so long. I'm hungry for Pizza Hut. So I ordered a large cheese pizza for him. And I ordered a, well, he got his hand tossed. I got mine pan pizza, because I love their pan pizza. And I got a, a pineapple and onion. Don't come for me on the pineapple, I love it. So I got a pineapple and onion pizza. I did not eat great that night. And then I got him an order of breadsticks, me an order of breadsticks. And then I got this, the mini cinnamon roll things with two extra frostings. And then I got four ranch uh, ranches and like eight marinara's because he likes marinara and I do too but they, I wanted cheese but they didn't have cheese. So I ordered it and have it delivered and so got here about 15 minutes before we did. And um, so I had some of the, extra, the leftover pizza last night. Let me just tell you my order. I'm so over ordering food and it not coming here correctly and they actually uh, re refunded me like the majority of the money. I was kind of surprised. So we get home and I see on the doorstep, and I like immediately, I'm like, they, did, they had like two like big pizza boxes and two little small boxes. And I knew those were like the sauces, like the marinara sauce and stuff. And I was like, they didn't give us our food, like or our order. And so we brought it in. Well, Alex, he didn't really care about it. He wouldn't have eaten the cinnamon rolls anyway. But I wanted like the ranch and some of that stuff, you know? And I was really excited about the cinnamon rolls because my plan was to like start eating healthy today, you know? And so I was like, I want to go out on a bang this weekend. And so they didn't bring our breadsticks, either one. They didn't bring half the sauces, 
They didn't bring the cinnamon rolls. I was like not happy about it because I was like so hungry. Like I rarely ever get hangry, but I was like like hangry, you know, I'm hungry, angry, but I was like hangry at that point. And so I came in here and they reimbursed the money. I was kind of surprised that it was that easy, but it was like real, real easy. So um, then Alex watched some show and then I ended up watching that night. I ended up watching... I was trying to finish Southern Hospitality. So I started watching, I was like, I'm gonna give this show another try. Cause I'd watch Vanderpump Rules and then I had gone back and watched like another episode of Southern Hospitality or two, I can't remember how many. And I was like, you know, Southern Hospitality is really kind of very similar to how Vanderpump, I'm like halfway through the first season of Vanderpump Rules. And I'm like, Vanderpump Rules started almost exactly like Southern Hospitality. I was like, so maybe I should give Southern, Southern Hospitality a try. Like maybe it'll, you know, be in it for the long haul, long haul, and I'll be happy that I watched it. So I got like halfway through the season. The first season's only eight episodes, and I thought it came out on the 17th, <clears throat> but it came out on the 7th, the season premiere. So um, I was like halfway through the season, and then that night I finished the season, and well, I watched an, a couple episodes of Vanderpump Rules, and then I started, I stayed up real late. And um, when I got done with the last episode of season one, it went like right into season two. And I was like, season two doesn't come out until the 17th. And then I Googled it and it was like, season one came out on the 7th. And I was like, oh, or season two came out on the 7th. So I was like, oh my God, I have a whole other episode to watch. So I watched that. So I'm completely caught up on Southern Hospitality and I'm halfway through the season of Vanderpump Rules. So last night, Alex and I, we watched Leave the World Behind. I know, like, it's, I'm looking online, and a lot of people aren't liking it. A lot of people are saying that it was, like, the worst movie they ever saw, whatever. I'm like, did we watch the same movie? I loved it. I thought it was so good. I mean, it was a real nail-biter, and people are saying that it's, like, really slow and stuff like that. I'm gonna go get another Diet Coke. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> like, stretching for the camera. I had to, uh... The dishwasher was getting done, and I also had to finish my drama video, which I think is almost done. I'm looking at it as we speak. I think it's almost done uploading. So, so yeah, so we watched that movie last night called Leave the World Behind. I thought it was really good. There, are, I'm seeing people like give it like really bad reviews online. They're like, it's so slow. It was supposed to kind of take place in real time. But even then, I thought that people were like, oh, it only had like three scenes and whatever, or three different places, whatever. I thought it showed like what would happen if it really happened. I liked it. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah, he liked it too. Um, I thought it was good. Of course, oh, it just finished. Of course, I really like Julia Roberts and um, Ethan Hawke. So it was kind of weird to see them in a movie together. Have they ever been in a movie together before? I don't know. But anyway, so then after that, Alex went to bed because he had to get up early this morning for work. And so I was like looking for like, you know, apocalyptic movies and whatever. And there was this movie that came out in like 2018. I was like, I, I think I'm gonna take a break from reality TV for a night and I'm just gonna watch, um, I'm just gonna watch movies. Which by the way, that show that Alex is watching, that First Wives Club, I thought it was like the first season. Did you know there's three seasons of that show? I sure do. You sure do? Well, what season are you on? The second. So what I was watching was from the second season? No, you were watching from the first. Oh, okay. Because I was like, I looked, and there's like three seasons, and I was like, how did I not know there were se I thought it was brand new, so, yeah, I don't know that I'll be watching that show to catch up with three seasons when I got all this reality show. So last night, it's 30 minutes each. they're only 30 minutes each? And it's only like eight episodes a season. Oh, he said there's 30 minutes each, and it's only eight episodes a season, so maybe I will watch it. We'll see. You like it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I think it, it looks good. So, I saw this movie that was recommended, I like Google search, like movies like Leave the World Behind, and it was this movie with Forrest Whitaker, and I can't remember the other guy's name in it, he's been in a bunch of other things, younger guy, and um, I know when I say that people be like, you don't know, who the, I mean, I don't know his name, his act, his, let's look it up, shall we? Let's pull out the Google, hold on a second. What, what, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Search Google. 
leave the world behind cast. Oh, okay, the movie is actually, let's not leave the world behind. The movie is actually called How It Ends. How It Ends. Forrest Whitaker's in it, I know that. Theo James. Do you know who that is? What else has he been in? He's, oh, he was in Divergent, I guess. We only will. Oh, he was in White Lotus. He was in White Lotus. Remember when the two couples and he had the nude scene? Uh oh. He was in Time Tra Traveler's Wife. Let's see what else he was in. That's what I remember him from is White Lotus. But How the World Ends, I don't know half these movies he was in. I feel like I've summoned something else, though. The, I don't know any of these movies. Backstabbing for Beginners. The Benefactor. Yeah, I don't know any of these movies that he... Somebody asked me the other day, like, what's a good winter movie? But it's not Christmas. Did you guys ever see the movie? It's with, uh... What's her face? I thought it, this is her right here. What's her name? I can't think of her name. Hold on a second. This is unscripted. It's not Cameron Diaz. Jennifer Lawrence is who it is. I didn't even pull up her name. But the movie is called Winterbone, and it's with... See, this is shaking. I have to not sit on the table. And it's with Jennifer Lawrence, and it is so good, you guys. It is. I think maybe Jodie Foster might have directed it. Who directed Winterbone? Nope. Deborah Granick. How old was she for Lawrence when she made that? She was 20. That is such a great movie, you guys. What is, what's Rot Winter? Oh, it got four and a half stars on Rotten Tomatoes. So, here, let's look it up on Wikipedia and I'll tell you what the plot is. The plot on Wikipedia, the things on Wikipedia, are, well, no, now it's not pulling up. But anyway, that is a really fantastic movie. If you've never seen it before, I love that movie. Um, okay, I need to get this off here because I don't want to see a bunch of pictures of these problematic YouTubers um, that YouTube constantly recommends to me. So anyway, um, yeah, so we watch, I, so after Alex went to sleep, I watched that, which it's called How It Ends, and it's about basically the same story, like the world is coming to an end, and this guy, this Theo James, that's his name, he, I don't know where his name was in the movie, I can't remember, but he and his fiance are having a baby and they live in Seattle. She is from Chicago and her mom and dad, her dad is Forrest Whitaker, live in Chicago, like in high rise. This guy goes to Chicago um, basically to ask her dad if he can marry her, I, what I understood from the beginning of it. And then when he's in Chicago, this whole thing happens on the West Coast. So all the planes are down, there's no way to get there and whatever. So. He and Forrest Whitaker, who do not get along, who is his uh, fiance Sam. How do I remember her name in it? Sam, they drive cross country. They pick up somebody on the way, and it's really good, you guys. I mean, it's, it's, it's very similar to Leave the World Behind, and I will tell you, like, well, I don't want to say that because I don't want to ruin the end for you, but, yeah, it's very similar concept to Leave the World Behind. I'm, okay, so, by the way, with this tripod, you can see it shaking because the camera is literally sitting on top of this tripod like this. <laughs> I ordered a new camera, treated myself to a new camera, the exact same camera <laughs> that I have. I got the exact same one. But I got this bundle. It comes with like a larger memory card, which I already have a bunch of memory cards. It comes with a new battery, obviously. It comes with this like tripod, like a different kind of tripod like that, a brand new one. <laughs> and it comes with like this bag and all this kind of stuff. So when I travel, like it won't like get beat up in my backpack. And so anyway, I'm like real excited about this. This and with the the bundle was cheaper than like the the newer version of the camera. So I just bought the same version of the camera that I have because I was like, well, um, I already know how to use this camera, so I'm just gonna buy the exact same camera. So yeah, that camera should be here. I don't know when, next couple days, something like that. But anyway. Um, so I watched that, and then when that was done, I was like, I want to watch a Christmas movie. And I couldn't remember what the Christmas movie was I was talking about here the other day that was re recommended 
to watch because it was by like the same people. It was recommended under Falling for Christmas with Lindsay Lohan, which I watched last year. So I'm trying to watch different Christmas movies this year because I always just watch like the same Christmas movies over and over and over again. Do you see how gently, because I'm like afraid that this camera is going to be shaking all over the place. You guys were like, Peter, we don't care. I know, I know, but I care. So I've been trying to watch like different Christmas movies. So I was like going through Netflix. I was trying to find this movie. Couldn't find this movie anywhere. And I saw Single All the Way, which has Jennifer Coolidge in it. And um, I, Alex had watched it. You watched that with Sarah last year, didn't you? I don't think so. Yeah, you went over to somebody's house and you watched Single All the Way. Remember about the two gay guys that go home to New Hampshire? Well, maybe, maybe. I don't know who I watched it with. Yeah, well, you watched it with somebody because... I was like, oh, he came home and was like, what movie did you, I was like, what movie did you guys watch? And he was like, um, single all the way. And I was like, ah, I wanted to watch that movie. So I never watched it last year. Um, I thought it would just be like this kind of like cheesy, corny, gay movie. And, um, which I said in my drama video, I'll say here, if like these movies had existed when I was like growing up in high school, I would have felt so seen. Um, it's about this guy and like he can't find love and he lives in Los Angeles and he's very much like in the industry, like social media and things like that. And... Um, he does like marketing for social media or something, but he's around like social media influencers. And so he kind of misses being home and then all this stuff happens at the beginning. And so he's supposed to like be taking his boyfriend home and that doesn't happen. His family lives. It's the woman from my big fat Greek wedding. Cause we just watched the third part to that series at Alex's aunt and uncle's house. Was that Thanksgiving that we watched that? Yeah. Yeah. And um, she's really good in it. She plays this guy's mom. And so he goes home for Christmas and they just want him to fall in love and all this kind of stuff. And it was good. It was really cute. I was like crying at the end of it. Like no lie. I was like, like ugly crying. I was so happy. I was like, these are the kind of like Hallmark Christmas movies that I love. So I watched that. And then I looked at the clock and it was still like, cause we started watching that movie so early. It was still like kind of early. And so I was like, I'm going to find what this movie is called. So I looked it up. It's with Heather Graham and the guy that was in American Pie. I started watching it last night. I can tell you guys what it's called. The Family Switch is the next one I want to watch. It's called The Best, Best Christmas Ever. So, okay. It's corny. Um, I mean, a lot of Christmas movies are corny, right? But it's with Heather Graham. Do you guys remember her from back in the day? And then the guy that played the main character in American Pie with like the curly brown hair. And Eugene Levy was his dad. And then um, he's the guy with the pie, remember? That's why it's called American Pie. Okay, and then um, Brandy, the singer. Brandy, y'all remember her? Apparently, this is like a spinoff movie. She did some other Christmas spin movie. I don't know that movie, but anyway. So, where she was like a singer or something like that. So, anyway, this is like the spinoff from that movie. So, Heather Graham, who's like real negative, and her husband and their two kids are going to her sister's house. But her son puts in the wrong GPS to go to this friend's house because she makes some snarky joke. And is like, yeah, I'd love to show up there uninvited. Well, they show up and... Brandy's got like this gorgeous amazing house and invites them all in and then they get like trapped there in this blizzard and they have to stay there for Christmas. It's stupid but it's like I, this is the kind of stuff that I love so I watched half of that last night maybe a third of it and then I was like I gotta go to bed. So and then the night before we um went to a birthday party for okay it's this woman that Alex works with husband and it was at her sister's house, which is real close to us. And, um, yeah, it was really fun. We had a really good time. I, um, tried to find something cute, struggled with that a little bit, but I thought it still looked kind of cute. It wasn't a lot of people. How many people do you think were there? Like 20? Yeah. It was like 20 people. Mostly, like, they were all like, because it was like a 50th birthday party. It was so funny because, like, on the wall, they had these things that, like, happened in 19... I was born in 72, but this was... He was born in 73. So these things on there, and it said, like, all... It's, like, something you buy, right? And it said all these things that happened in 1973. And it said famous celebrities that were born, and it said Jason Nash, comedian. And I was like, we call Jason Nash a comedian. <laughs> like, okay. I don't think he's very funny, but whatever. So 
But it was really fun. We just like stood around and talked. We got there about, it started at five-ish, but we got there about 6.20, 6.30, something like that. We stayed there till about, it was close to midnight when we left. But anyway, it was really fun. Um, we had a good time. It was just real low key and stuff like that and just sat around. They didn't have any Diet Coke, so um, I was like, Alex and I were drinking like regular Coca-Cola. <laughs> I haven't had that in a while and so I drank like four of them. I think that's why I was like so like awake when I got home because I had had all that Coke when we were at that party and all the sugar and stuff in it. But yeah, it was really, really fun. We had a good time. And um, Alex kept on asking me, he kept on looking at me, he was like, are you I'm like, no, we can stay. I'm totally fine. It was fun. We just like sat in the kitchen and told a story. It was nice. I got to like meet the, I mean, the people that he works with I know, but like I got to meet like their husbands and stuff like that. And yeah, it was a good time. So, um, and I think that's about it. Did I do anything else that day? Christmas shopping, shows. Oh, tonight Alex has a birthday party that he's going to. How old is she? Who is she? Your, don't say her name. Her, your friend. What friend? Your birthday party tonight, babe. Oh, 30 something? She's a couple? No, no, she's 30? It's interesting to me that she picked Ocean Prime. I don't know. Oh, you agree? I mean, she likes seafood. Well, that's true. Ocean Prime's kind of like a seafood steakhouse. Well, they're nationwide, so it's not just in Indianapolis, but that's where he's going. How many people are going? 10. 10? Oh my lord. This girlfriend of his is kind of different. She's real pretty, but it was funny because we were in San Diego for Fufu's wedding. I'm like, Nobody knows these people, so nobody knows the names. But didn't one of Fufu's friends like tell you he had a crush on her just by seeing his pic her pictures on Instagram well, or something? They went to high school together. Oh, they went to high school together. That's right. And so he was like asking about her and stuff like that. So, so anyway, he's going to Ocean Prime for this birthday dinner tonight. And I don't know what I'm going to watch. I'm going to finish watching that Christmas movie. I don't know that I feel like watching any more Christmas movies. In all honesty, I would rather watch End of the World movies. And, um,. So I'm gonna like Google search end of the world movies. I feel like I've seen them all though, you know? I like, um, I screenshot some that were recommended and a lot of them are like family end of the world movies. And other than that, I love zombie and end of the world movies. I think partly because I'm like, well, I wonder what I would do like in that situation. Watch what my husband would do. Hey babe. Yes, pretty. <laughs> He's trying stuff on, he's irritated. What would you do in a zombie apocalypse to survive? Uh, I would die. He would die, that's what he says every time. He's like, no, I just let him eat me, I'd be dead, I don't care. He's like, I'm not gonna try to survive in a zombie apocalypse. I'm like, what? <laughs> Last night, he was like holding Boo Radley while we were watching this movie, because he knew this would piss me off, and he kept on saying, he goes, Boo, it'll just be you and me in the very end. I go, what about me? And he goes, oh, you'll be gone already. It won't matter. He was like, it'll just be me and Boo in the very end. I go, you are so mean. He just started laughing. He thought it was so funny. But anyway, and then tomorrow night, um, Alex is going to take me to Tanya's, and then Tanya and I are going to a meeting tomorrow night, which I'm so excited to see her. I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, and so that's tomorrow. So I gotta get up a little bit earlier tomorrow to get some videos done because I, listen, listen Linda, I had videos to make for all of my channels today. I had a video, so this is my vlog, and then my drama video, here we'll have to, this is how I do it, with my, ah, my Sharpie. So here's my vlog, I can't cross you out yet because you're not done. So my drama video, that's uploading right now. So when it's published, see I have record and publish on the list, and then when I record. And then the Peterisms didn't get to that. The review, garlic, record, it's not up yet. And then the Peter Does Stuff video, I was gonna unbox these weights, but that didn't happen today. And then my booktube video, I had this whole plan that I was gonna do for a video over there. And then I had this whole reality TV video 
that I was going to do about Bachelor in Paradise, the finale, Avon and Kaylee, what's going on with them, because y'all hear if they broke up, Avon and Kaylee, if you watch Bachelor in Paradise. He cheated on her, and they put it all over Instagram. And then Alex sent me something to, he was like, this would be good for your reality TV channel, and so I was looking into that. And then, so yeah, so, um, those videos did not happen, so maybe tomorrow we'll get to some of those. Um, I'm feeling kind of like a slowdown coming in December. I don't even know what it is. I can't even really explain it. I just feel kind of like, well, we're taking it kind of slow in December. Just kind of enjoying time, watching movies. I did last night, though. When I went to bed, it was so cozy. It was so funny because we came down here. And, like, when we got done eating, when I was done eating my pizza and stuff, I went upstairs. I'm kind of, like, weird about I have to brush my teeth, like, right after I eat. And so I went upstairs to brush my teeth, and I, like, made the bed real quick and stuff after a nap. And Alex went upstairs and goes, did you make the bed? And I go, yes, because I like getting into, like, a nice, clean bed. And just laughed. Um, so when I was getting into bed last night, I was, like, curling up next to little Boo Radley. I was like, I just wish I could take, like, two days and just not do anything but watch, like, horrible Christmas movies, <laughs> just, like, one after another. But, you know, here's the thing is, like, First of all, y'all know I love filming videos, but by the time I'm done filming videos, like, I still have, um, you know, I mean, what is it right now? It is 6.30, and he told me he is leaving at, um, like, 7.15, 7.30. Very nice. Don't say what it's for. It's for baby Jesus' birth. Oh. I really like it. Very nice. Yeah, I like it with that shirt, too. Does it look too big? Huh? Does the laser look too big? No. Alex bought a new, new outfit, so he's modeling it for me. You're thinking the jacket looks too big, don't you? Yeah, like it does. It's too square. What size is that? 44. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. When you pull it in the back, it looks a little bit better. What about the pants? Pants are good. I mean, I think the jacket looks fine, but I think that if you wanted to go a size smaller, I don't think it would hurt you. Pull it out in front. No, with the button. With it buttoned. Pull it out in front. Well, what? Like this. Go like this. Yeah, I go outside lower. Can you return it and get it back in time? Yeah. Um. So tonight, oh, I was saying that I wish that I could like. Um, but I think this. I think this suit is really, really nice, babe. Thank you. It's beautiful. Didn't you just order that like yesterday and it came this soon? Friday. No, oh, Friday. Um, and I love the shirt with it. So, um, yeah, I was thinking it would be, like, really nice to just, like, <laughs> take two days off and just, like, watch, like, stupid Christmas movies, like, all day. Which I wouldn't end up doing. I'd end up watching half reality TV anyway, you know? But here's the thing. So, like, it's, like, 6.30 right now. He's leaving for this dinner at, like, 7, 7.15 or something, he said. And so... All my videos will be done by then, and this will be uploading, you know, and, and whatever. And so by 7.15, I'm completely done with my day, and I can watch TV shows for the next, like, eight hours. Like, not a bad life. It's a pretty amazing life, right? And plus, I just love, like, you know, catching up with you guys and talking and letting you guys know what's going on. And I don't know. It was weird yesterday taking a day off. Like, I really enjoyed taking a day off. It was nice. But, like... I just, like, was thinking a lot about, like, oh, like, I would tell him this. And I, I probably would have gone in more detail about, like, the party and stuff because it was, like, more in my mind. Like, I was really happy I went. I was really glad that, I don't know, it was just, like, so fun. So, like, whenever I, like, because the party was, like, it, those kind of things are hard for me where I don't know a lot of people, like, you know, and having social anxiety and stuff like that. Like, that's hard for me to, like, step outside my comfort zone. But I was, like, no, like, I want to go and whatever. And so, um... And I had such a great time. I always do. Like, whenever I, like, go to something that, you know, like, at first I'm kind of like, mm, you know. But then I go, and then I end up having a great time. So, yeah, I was really happy that I went. So maybe tomorrow I'll get more videos done. 
and there was something specific I wanted to tell you guys about the party. Now I can't remember. I don't remember at all. But I don't know what I'm going to watch tonight. I still have two shows. Oh, well, I have Below Deck Mediterranean. That's for one thing. That's for one thing. I was so proud of myself last week. I was like, you are all caught up on your shows. Oh, I have Love After Lockup or Life After Lockup. And then I have 90 Day Fiance that I still haven't watched. Weekly TV shows. Yep, 90 Day Fiance and Life After Lockup. I don't know if you can see this, but this is my list, right? So what I do is I go in here, like with Love, Life After Lockup. I used to put the dates in there, but that was when I was like two and three episodes behind. Now I just go in here and I go last Friday, because it was on last Friday. Like, and then I add it to my list, like after lockup. This is so corny, I know, right? And I put Friday, that's this week's upcoming episode. And then 90 Day Fiance. 90 Day Fiance. I heard that it's going on until like January last Sunday because it was just on last night so it's not like I'm too far behind last Sunday and then I go through and I uncheck all the boxes you know what I can add to this oh my god I cannot believe it oh wait southern hospitality Okay, so the seventh was when? Thursday, so Southern Hospitality comes on Thursdays. I always have the day, the day of the week that's on next to me. And then Thousand Pound Sisters comes on tomorrow. Those are my two new shows that I'm going to be watching every week. So that's Tuesdays. When does the new Ultimate Girls Trip come out? Do you know? New season of Ultimate. I think it's probably going to be Ultimate Girls Trip Legacy. Yes, you're right. Legacy. A Roni, did you say it's called Roni Legacy? Yeah. It's yeah, that's what they call it. December 14th. Oh, it starts on Thursday. I wonder if they'll release all the episodes at the same time, do you think? They've never done that. They haven't? Okay, well I'm going to put it on my list of shows to watch. Roni. That's Real Housewives in New York, in case you didn't know. Roni Legacy. And that comes out on Thursday. Ah! Kardashians can take that off my list. Thank God that show's over. Oh, welcome to Plathville. That's over. I can take that off my list. Survivor Amazing Race. Life After Lockup. Bachelor in Paradise. Oh, that's over. I can take that off my list. God, I, I finished a lot of shows last week. Below Deck Mediterranean. Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Real Housewives of Miami. 90 Day Fiance. I have last Sunday and last week. I know I don't have two episodes to catch up on. House of Villains. Oh, this, see, last week. We watched that already. Dragula. That comes out tonight at midnight. RuPaul's Drag Race Canada, Thursday. Southern Hospitality, Thursday. Thousand Pound Sisters, Tuesday. I mean, Thursdays and Tuesdays are big days for me in this house. Why are you laughing at me? Some of us don't watch uh, entire seasons of Friends on TikTok. I'm jealous. What would I be jealous of? I'll be there for you. <laughs> I remember way back in the day. Who's the band that sings that? Do you remember? 
How do you not know that? You're like one of the biggest fan, Friends fans in the entire world. Um, the band that sings that, why can't, is it the Gin and Tonics or something? <laughs> Gin Blossoms, is that who it is? I'll be there for you, man. <laughs> the Rembrandts, yes. How could I forget that? <laughs> I remember, so we had these like, you know, summer things in Indianapolis and it was like, we were having something, I can't remember what it was. And it was like, I don't know, like the Chili Fest or something. And like the bit, this was like when I was like 23 and like the big band was <laughs> the Rembrandts, the Rembrandts, 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 because they like had the the lead song or the the theme song on Friends, and so everybody wanted to go see them because of that. I'll be there for you when the sun doesn't shine. <laughs> oh. Well. I think that's about it for tonight. I'm gonna get off here and I am going to start rendering this vlog so maybe I can get it up a little bit earlier tonight for those of you that go to bed early. So anyway, I hope that you guys are having a uh, magically amazing, uh, what is today, Monday? A magically amazing Monday. And if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. And remember these three very important things. One, you can start your day over whenever you want or need to, or you can start your week over if you need to. Two, practice random acts of kindness, but shh, and three, most importantly, make sure that you reach out to somebody and let them know how much I mean to you. Like I always say, you might be putting a smile on their face, you might be changing their day for the better. You just might be making them happier and you might be making them feel not so all alone. And also be kinder to one another, love one another a little bit more, and most importantly, be kinder and love yourselves a little bit more. Because if, you love, if you're kinder to yourself and you love yourself more, then you'll be kinder to others and you will love others more as well. And love is what makes the world go around, right? Anyway, uh, yeah, and um, I love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Love you. Oh, and for all of you out there, one more I love you. I love you guys so much. List in the comment section below your favorite end of the world apocalyptic movie and a holiday, whatever holiday you celebrate, themed picture in the comment section below so I know you made it this far. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya!